What's up guys? We are back with another episode of What's Cooking. So, what's cooking tonight? Unstuffed stuffed peppers. <laughs> so, it's pretty much stuffed peppers, just kind of deconstructed. Um, I love stuffed peppers, my family loves stuffed peppers, but they're kind of a pain to eat because you get this giant pepper full of all this stuff and then you gotta sit and try and cut it all up and it makes kind of a mess and whatever. So. Part of it, it's because the kids, it's easier to just deconstruct it right away and do it. And the other part of it is because every time I seem to make stuffed peppers, I have leftover like filling that doesn't fit in the pepper. Like, what do I do with that then? So this way you get all your filling, you get all your peppers and they're already cut up for you and it's so much easier. So I am going to make kind of a stuffed pepper casserole, I guess. Um, I've got my peppers. I've got four red peppers because I'm using the same ingredients as it would be if it was normal, like regular stuffed peppers. I've got an onion, I have a bunch of seasonings, and my water is boiling for my rice. I'm going to get one cup of brown rice uh, going here on the stove. So we're just going to add that in and we're going to let that go. And then I have my pan here ready to brown my ground turkey. Uh, you can use turkey or beef, totally up to you. We had beef once already this week, so we are doing turkey. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, my how to save or how to plan your meals and stuff, you will see that I like to switch up my proteins and not repeat a protein in the same week. Um, just adds variety and then people don't get sick of eating the same thing. So I'm going to start this stuff. I'm going to let that rice keep going. I'm going to dice up my uh, peppers and I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut up all of my t my peppers and I just diced them and laid them in the bottom of a 9 by 13 that I've sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. So we're just going to set that aside. Now we're going to make the filling. So the filling, it's just going to go on top. That's all. So in this bowl, I'm going to combine the turkey that I browned up. I also added the onion in here for after the turkey was about halfway done. So I'm just going to put this all in here. So, and there's garlic in here too. So turkey, onion, garlic. Just get all that juice out of there that I don't want. Right. We're going to put our rice in there that's cooked one cup of brown rice uncooked. So it ends up being close to two cup and a half, two cups once it's cooked. Um, and also I like to cook it a little under because the juices from the rest of the stuff while you're baking this, it's going to kind of soak into that rice a little bit. So I usually add a little less water than it says when I'm first making the rice. So we've got our beef our turkey, our onions, our rice, and then we're gonna add a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Just throw that in there. I like this recipe because sometimes the recipes just call for like spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce or something like that. Um, and this one uses the fire roasted tomatoes instead, which is nice because it's actually a little healthier. There's not as much sugar as, um, in some of those canned spaghetti sauces. So we've got that in there. And then it says to add some Tabasco, but we like Frank's Red Hot, so that's what I'm putting in. And that is all up to you how spicy you want it. I just do a couple of shakes in there. Then we're gonna start adding our seasoning. So we've got garlic powder. Again, I don't measure. I just kind of throw it in. Some salt. Probably won't need too much salt because of the diced tomatoes and the cheese that's going to go in. Then we have some ground cumin, onion powder, kind of stuck in there, there we go, and we've got some paprika. Uh, it 
Italian seasoning. And then just some regular ground pepper. All right, and then we are gonna add about a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then the rest of it will go on top. So we put a little bit in and mix that into the filling. We're just gonna mix this up, put that on top, and then I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, so I have put the filling in there on top of the diced uh, peppers. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little more cheese on top of this. And then we're just gonna pop this in the oven. It's at 325, it's been preheating. And we're gonna bake it probably for about 20 minutes. If you were making the actual stuffed peppers, it would probably be closer to like 25 to 30 minutes, just depending. But since the peppers are already diced up and just layered in the bottom, it will cook faster. Plus that's really all we're cooking since the rest of this has already been cooked up. So that's done. We're just gonna pop this in the oven and then set a timer for 20 minutes and it'll be time to eat.